Good afternoon. Welcome to the Fragrance Technology Conference number six. As Philip just said, we're going to give the floor a voice to the uh, Fragrance Technology ecosystem. I've seen some newcomers in the audience. I've seen a, a number of people I've seen before. Thank you very much for staying with us and for your interest in the Frogans project. Once again, let me quickly remind you what uh, we're going to be talking about and what the, the Frogans technology is and what the Frogans project is. With OP3FT since 2012, we've had this non-for-profit project. The objective being to develop Frogans technology, uh, promote the Frogans technology, uh, technically speaking, from an administrative standpoint as well as from a legal standpoint. So what is Frogans technology? Well, Frogans technology is a new way to publish content online, on uh, internet. It is a new way. Why? Because there are a lot of software layers out there that can be used to publish content on internet in the 90s internet was invest in, invented for that purpose by engineers at the nuclear research center uh, of geneva in order to make resources available on networks uh, uh, that could be reached by different Com computers that were connected. So this was back in the, the 90s and right around 94, 95, the web exploded with websites. Um, they were everywhere on networks, society, uh, the corporate world. And today, well, anyone here and everywhere around the world has at least been online once and seen a website once. So Frogan's technology was uh, created to publish content, once again, but in a different way. It is complementary to websites. What is a Frogan's site? Well, Frogan's site is, a, is, a, is an internet site. It, it's a site that contains content. It's on a server and all connected computers can access that content. But the content is not the same as the content you are putting on websites today. On websites, what do we put? Well, we have large page pages. We use a, 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 a browser, which is on your desktop. Your pages are oftentimes too big. Uh, to, uh, to uh, view them on uh, mobile devices. They've not, they're, they're not uh, adapted to mobile devices or simply because uh, you can't access them because you do not have enough bandwidth uh, to, ac to access uh, heavy uh, resources. Plus, between your desktop, your tablet, your smartphone, the website is not the, cha the same because the developer hasn't always done the right adaptation work. Well, Frogan's technology makes it possible to publish a website, or a site, sorry, which will be exactly the same, no matter what device you use, any device, to browse. Uh, uh, you don't to don't on a, on a Frogan site. You don't need Internet Explorer, or Firefox, or any other browser. You need you have you need your own browser, which is Frogan's Player. Frogan's Player is fully respectful of your privacy. It, uh, is, uh, it, 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 it consumes very little resources. It is very low profile, which means it's virtually invisible when you open a Frogan's site. All you have on the screen is the Frogan's site and your workspace if you're on a desktop. So to access a Frogan's site, you need to have your identification, your authentication information, just like on, uh, uh, you need a, you need a, a, a domain name, so like www. something. org. Frogans you, with Frogans, you need a Frogans address. So Frogans address is simple, short. It's the network star, which is representative of the Frogans technology, and a site name. You decide what that name is. So. The Frogans address, uh, addresses uh, are taking 
recent changes, evolutions, uh, including the work, the work of ICANN into account. ICANN is the extra-governmental body which manages administration of domain names and uh, IP addresses as well as letters on uh, internet. So they, um, they, there is un the Unicode consortium as well. They do work as well on um, fonts and characters. That way, no matter what language you speak and no matter what language you write, you can use it in your uh, in your site, in the name of your site. Well, with Frogon's technology, our promise, our claim was that you would be able to use more than 170 languages from right to left or left to right uh, in your Frogon's uh, address. We'll see this in greater de detail later today. So that's what Frogon's technology is all about. But uh, instead of talking about it, let's take a look. And that's exactly what we will be doing for this afternoon. We're going to be playing with uh, Frogon sites. We're going to create Frogon sites, and we're actually going to award some Frogon sites as well. You will, we have a great um, award ceremony. We've uh, we have had several uh, wonderful sites that have applied to the content contest, and we will be awarding. Uh, thanks to the generous particip participation, Jim Kit, uh, a, a number of uh, Frogan's addresses will be uh, offered. Will be um, offered as a, as gifts. Philip, may I ask you to please open my PowerPoint before starting? I would like to briefly come back to the things we've accomplished since um, the last conference. I know that some of you were there, uh, maybe not everyone. So this was three months ago. Let me tell you what we did at OP3FT since. Here we go. What is new since Frogon's, uh, the Frogon's Technology Conference uh, number five? This was, uh, well, we have the first version of the Frogon's player. Frogan's sites are not available on internet yet. Uh, when we introduced this on uh, the 29th of September, we talked about resources, resources on your computer, and the player was available, uh, has been available since to create and navigate on your desktop using the, the language which was published that day. It's uh, FSDL Frogan's description language, which is a very simple, a very easy language, which contains 25 elements that you need to describe all the content of a Frogan's site. No need for advanced knowledge, uh, coding, design, or extensive IT knowledge. It is a very straightforward language. Uh, it's based on XML syntax with 25 elements, not 100, not 150, just 25. You have everything you need to describe a site. This language was published during the last conference. This was its preliminary introduction, and it has been improved and enhanced since. So I'm talking about codes. Most people present here and in the ecosystem, people who are interested in Frogan's are saying codes are complicated. I'm a designer and uh, I am I know that Frogan's allows you to do a lot of graphic design, but I'm, in my mind, codes, a code is a code. So we're still missing graphic uh, design tools to make it, uh, to, to design Frogan's sites faster. Uh, with greater simplicity, a, a little bit like with Photoshop or Paint, or even when you use your finger to draw things on your on your uh, on your touch screen. So OP3FT has always recognized that it was important to work on this, and uh, in order to make it easier for people who use Frogon sites. And today we'll we'll, we'll see that some of the the software layers, software bricks, um, whether online or as apps on your uh, computer. We are going to introduce all these resources today. Frogan's um, addresses. As you will remember, 
we uh, it, we talked about priority registration uh, during the, the um, FTC 5 to brand holders um, and uh, some people wanted to have their own site or network with the name of their service or brand or whatever generic term um, that they would then use to publish Frogan's sites. So this was the first, uh, the first stage. But the next stage will be the general public with public sites coming from uh, public uh, Frogan's uh, networks. So where we use a different writing system, a different language or linguistic category. So as early as today, you'll be able to register this with FCR account managers. These are the people, the intermediaries, the, the experts or professionals who uh, will let you register your Frogan's sites. We've done a lot of promotion work as well. Frogan's player was published with the FSDL language, but of course, as you can imagine, it takes education. There is a learning curve. We had to explain how the Frogan's technology works and a number of initiatives were organized to do this. I'll come back to that in a moment. Can we please go to the next slide? Merci, Philippe. Donc, Frogan's player, Frogan's player was released on September the 29th, 2015, and since there has been one new release every week, which means there has been a total of 22 releases since that day, coming from the OP3FT teams, in order to uh, address comments made by users, fix bugs, optimize, enhance, the quality, the graphic design, increase the number of elements taken into consideration by Frogan's technology, and mainly to increase the number of platforms. Back in September, Frogan's sites could be seen on Windows, desktops, as well as Mac uh, OS X. Since two weeks, the, the Linux platform or Linux platforms are also hosting uh, Frogan's technology. I'm not a developer and I'm not very familiar with Linux, but uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, there is a lot of customization on Linux, and this was a tremendous challenge. Uh, using Frogan's player on Linux as a platform was a challenge, but we had to do it simply because a lot of developers and even users prefer to use, uh, uh, to run Linux. Once again, Linux is a completely open source operating system. It's free, free of charge. Frogan sites were on your desktop so far. Well, as you're going to see today, Frogan sites are now on internet. So much for Frogan's player. Philip. FSDL has changed quite a bit as well. When it was uh, released, there were only 12 available elements out of a total of 25. This means that the weeks that followed the release, uh, the last conference, we optimized the graphic uh, options, the graphic features. Today, for example, you can create vectorial shapes. You can pick your shape. You can uh, thereby uh, design um, special color effects, color ranges. You can add images. Uh, this is a feature which was already available, but we've optimized it. Today, you can uh, you can use high quality or higher quality images. Before, Frogan sites were completely static, which means you could navigate, you could browse, you could go from one page, one Frogan page to another. But there were no dynamic elements. When you arrive on 
the site, the, 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 the content updates automatically depending on who you are. We're not there yet. That's, there's still a few things missing. But the first dynamic element has been introduced in FSDL. It's Next. Next is a small element which when placed in, in a fragrance page, after a while the, 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 the content is automatically updated. So this dynamic element, um, we're going to show, uh, and to do, to do so we're going to open a Test Star Explorer, which is a Frogan site. So here it is. This is planet Earth. And as you can see, it moves. Frogans is becoming dynamic, and this has been effective for a few months now. So let's say a few words about this small Frogans site. This Frogans site was created for a website. It's ex the Explorers Network. It's a social media, social network for um, people who love nature. And so this is a mock-up, but this is a great example of complementarity between a website and a Frogans site. On a website, what you find is audio uh, files, um, a, a lot of additional resources that are provided by the Explorer um, network, uh, great pictures, but not necessarily uh, information which is accessible when you are using mobile devices. Well, with this tiny Frogans site we are browsing, you can access this kind of information. So somewhere on your mobile device, for example, if you have little access or low bandwidth, you could get a little um, notification from Jean-Pierre. For example, Jean-Pierre has just uploaded a new photo, which means you can click on the photo. This uh, is uh, here it becomes just, uh, 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 it looks like an icon which uh, with a number of notifications which appears and by clicking on it, um, so you can, <coughs> I, I wanted to open the conference by showing this small site, just as a reminder of what a program site looks like or does. Philip, could you move it around? There you go. So as you can see, it slides right over a PDF file here. It's not square. And as you can see, it is not, uh, there is no browser. It is there all by itself. So this has been developed by a publisher. And when you make a right click, you can see that a menu, a contextual menu opens up, which gives access to different options. You can um, resize, you have a reload function. If you're um, editing your site, you can uh, reload it and view it. So this is an example of a Frogan site. So there is a development mode. So this, here we have the full resolution. So here you have absolutely every single pixel, 640 by 180. That's the maximum you can get for on Frogan's technology. So if you're, uh, if you're a publisher, um, you can, this is what you can do. I don't think that the, uh, with the, 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 the video projection here, uh, this is, uh, it's really doing justice, but uh, you can really work on every single pixel if you are, when you're a publisher. And on a desktop where, uh, so this is actually on Linux. This, uh, on, on, it works on Windows as well. Uh, Mac, so it's, uh, Mac OS 10 as well, and in the future on iOS as well, as well as on Android, as of course on TV screens as well as on watches. So now the next step will be to create Frogan's sites. Uh, Philip, do you have an FSDL document? I, this this is a little unscheduled, unplanned, but I I wanted to show that FSDL is is you know coding. Simple though, easy coding. Bon, c'est pas très grave. Je, je te laisse chercher. 
Don't worry. Um, I, I didn't warn you, so it's okay if you can't find uh, if you can't find uh, anything. But codes can be a bit complex. So what we would like to share with you today is that you. We're going to see that you ha we have a software library, and you can. Uh, there is a small component that can be used with most programming languages that exist today in order to create author tools. Um, you can, authoring tools, sorry. You can uh, upload images, you can manage uh, layers, the, uh, the stacking of graphic resources of your Frogan site. Uh, and the, in the graphic interface is much simpler. So this is not something provided by OB3FT. We give you the graphic, uh, the technical components, sorry. And we then tell you how you can use them. But then anyone, anyone can decide to create their own tool. Any tool will create its own online uh, site, Frogan site to create Frogan sites, or a mobile app to make uh, Frogan, uh, Frogan sites for mobile devices. You could create a business, you can create a company, um, a non-for-profit, you name it. The Frogans technology, everything that we're making uh, with OP3FT is based on open source. These are open standards, they're absolutely free of charge, they can be used by everyone without any restriction. You can create your own business with it. You decide whether it's graphic design, uh, tools, uh, addresses, you decide. Last but not least, I wanted to share this with you. These are addresses, Frogan's addresses. Here they are. So we've seen them before. Remember these little patterns, a network name, a star, and the name of the site. So what you see here before the star are public Frogan's uh, networks. They all start by Frogan's star or its transcription into another linguistic category. They're all here. We have Chinese, we have Cyrillic, we have Arabic, Hebrew, Korean, Japanese, uh, Devanagari, Thai, as well as Greek. So all this means Frogan's in the, these different languages. And you can now register the address you want for your Frogan's site starting with Frogan's star. All you need to do is to talk to an account administrator and uh, and if you're interested you can even become one yourself. So to do this you have to talk to the FCR operator, the, core, the Frogan's core registry which is the central database where all Frogan's addresses are um, registered. It's a database, it's a register. If you're an account administrator, uh, you can open an account with the FCR. You then credit your account with money. And at that point, you can register addresses either for yourself or for your customers. And the account manager will debit your account once you've done so. The register price is six euros per year for a site. So as you can see, the prices are uh, fairly uh, low. There could be the, a commission for the account administrator who is doing running his business, doing the registration, the follow-up, the monitoring, and so on. So six euros, that's how much is paid to the FCR operator. But uh, so the administrator could pay, could charge you a little more for additional services rendered. So once again, uh, the prices are fairly modest. And uh, with this money, you will be able to uh, register your preferred addresses for future Frogan sites. In a nutshell, <coughs> that's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, one more thing very quickly. Here are some promotion activities that have been that have taken place. OP3FT was invited to speak at a number of events to present Frogan's technology. OP3FT went to uh, Africa, Senegal, and Côte d'Ivoire to meet with local ecosystems. If you were here during the previous conferences, we told you we'd been to Japan, 
and Russia to meet with internet ecosystems there. We shared some of our experience and we gave a number of presentations, tutorials, master classes to schools in a lot of, in a number of Paris schools, provincial schools as well, typically an hour or two during which the OP3, uh, OP3FT uh, members share the technology and uh, get some hands-on as well with kids. La Nuit de la Fou, 2015. That's an event we were part of. This is um, an important event the, organized by the University of Every. During the Nuit de la Fou 2015, it's, 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 a, it, it's a contest organized in the country. And uh, the, the challenge during that event was to create a Frogans web uh, site and uh, discuss Frogan's technology. And my understanding is that uh, two uh, Frogan's sites uh, who, that were part of that challenge actually won the awards. So a lot of information about the technology, about the Frogan's project, uh, uh, and uh, a lot of creation happening in the ecosystem, a lot of discussions, a lot of interactions, new communities are being created. The uh, Frogan's technology has also become active on social media, on Twitter, namely. There are two accounts, two different accounts. One is at, first one is at Frogan's. This is the Frogan's technology account where you receive uh, all the information on Frogan's technology and information on what people do with it. And the, there is the at OP3FT account. There again, you will get announcements um, um, of official releases, news, updates, uh, future uh, events, meetings, and so on. And for the French speaking community, we have at Frogans FR, un, uh, underscore FR where you have access to a number of uh, resources in French, French language on Frogans. Of course, we have discussion lists as well, should you wish to remain informed. And if you, unless you have any questions about uh, this event, I uh, suggest we um, continue with Philip. Thank you very much indeed.